You've heard it. I've heard it. We've all heard it. It's probably the most misused and abused, taken out of context section in the Bible. It goes like this. Don't judge me. Jesus said, don't judge. But is this what Jesus really said, what he really meant? I mean, we want to be intellectually honest and at least try to understand what Jesus was teaching, don't we? We certainly don't want to take anything he says out of context and twist it to what we wanted to say for our own selfish reasons, right? Oh, good. Glad you agree. So let's get to the heart of this and take a look at what Jesus actually said and what he really meant in Matthew 7. He said, and I quote, judge not that you be not judged for with the judgment you pronounce you will be judged and with the measure you use it will be measured to you why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye but do not notice the log that is in your own eye or how can you say to your brother let me take the speck out of your eye when there is a log in your own eye you hypocrite first take the log out of your own eye and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your brother's eye So I ask you, does it say anywhere in here that we ought not to make any kind of judgment? No. In fact, if that's what Jesus meant, we could never correct somebody's wrong or inaccurate statements, steer them in the right direction, help them with a problem, or even teach them the truth because all that would require judging and making judgments to some extent. This command would be completely impossible to live out because every second of every day we are judging between things we want to do, need to do, and ought to do, and making judgments on all kinds of things, like what time to go to bed, what time to wake up, what shirt to wear, what words to say, what person to date, what candidate to vote for, what friends to hang out with, Android or iPhone, PlayStation or Xbox, DC or Marvel, the vein-clogging fried okra or the healthy salad. All these require making judgments. So, it makes no sense that Jesus would command us not to make practical, everyday judgments. And by a plain reading of the text, we can see that Jesus is not talking about this kind of judging. So, you might say, Jesus must be talking about judging people. I see. He is fine with us making everyday practical judgments, but he doesn't ever want us to judge another person, right? Wrong. In fact, he's teaching the very opposite. Look at it closely. First, take the log out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to do what? To take the speck out of whose eye? Your brother's eye. Hey, thanks. Jesus is actually telling us to judge, and he's giving us the motive and the method on how to do it. Think this through with me. If he meant for us not to judge people ever, then we should never tell anybody not to steal, not to lie, not to cheat, not to murder. Murder, not to traffic children, not to rape, not to pretty much do or say anything. We couldn't even tell anybody not to judge because that would be judging that person. We'd all just have to sit around and watch horrible things happen and never do anything about it. That's not the Christian life. So once again, using a little common sense and reading the verses plainly and in context, it's clear that Jesus is not teaching us not to judge. He's teaching us how to judge. Namely, not to be hypocritical, condescending, unfair, and with a judgmental attitude. And guess what? This lines up perfectly with all of Scripture. Second Chronicles 19.4 says, He appointed judges in the land and all the fortified cities of Judah, city by city, and said to the judges, Consider what you do, for you judge not for men, but for the Lord. Unconvinced? Here's more. You shall appoint judges and officers in all your towns that the Lord your God is giving you, according to your tribes, and they shall judge the people with what? Righteous judgment. Okay, okay, you might say. Looks like this means only appointed judges can judge, but not us normal people. Huh, what about this? These also are sayings of the wise. Partiality in judging is not good. Open your mouth, judge righteously, defend the rights of the poor and needy. And just for the kicker, do not judge by appearances, but judge with right judgment. You see, a lot more comes to light when we read the full passage, try to understand the intended message and context, and consider the whole counsel of God's word, doesn't it? So then, my fellow judges, just judge justly, joining Jesus' just jurisprudence. Or in other words, judge righteously. This is the teaching of Jesus, and oh, what a world it would be if we simply judged righteously. Ponder it for a second. Okay, and there you have it. We have clearly shown that the demand that people should never judge has been debunked. Adios. This video was fully funded by a generous donation. To keep debunked videos free, please consider a tax-deductible donation or reach out to us to sponsor a video.